What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trevor's Fast Life. Today we're going to talk about tuning the Kelly controller. Check out our previous videos if you don't know how to set up the controller. This is what you're going to need to do once it's all set up. You're going to need to get an RS-232 cable, just like this. They can be found on Amazon or Walmart, or even when you're ordering the, control, the Kelly controller online, there's an option to, have, to add this into your cart as well. And then this adapter piece is going to come with your controller. You're going to make sure you, need, you plug that into this cable as well. Once you have that plugged in and then hook this up straight to the controller and then plug the other end into your laptop. Another thing too, the car does need to be powered up, so make sure there are batteries in it and make sure the key is on. You're gonna need to get the Kelly software right from their website, it's free. Um, we'll put a link down in the, in the description for it. But once you download it, go ahead and open it up. And again, make sure the battery is on for this and don't hit the gas at all. When it is hooked up to the laptop, it can damage the controller. So just click yes when this pops up. And then this is what you're gonna have here. These are just all the different settings that come along with the controller. Um, this controller has already been changed, but it gives you the options here, three wire or a Hall Effect pedal. We are running the Hall Effect throttle, so we're gonna go ahead and ch you know, choose that setting here. Now there's all different settings on here. You can change the max armature current. You can change the voltage. Um, once you've gone through here though, there's a hit next and go over to the next page. There's a startup delay time. Half, most of the time when these come out of the box, they're gonna be set at 0.5 seconds. Go ahead and set that to zero. Um, and then the main contact or hold duty, um, you can play with that as well, but we usually put that on 100%. Another nice thing with these, option three, you can add half speed in reverse. So if the kids do go into reverse by accident or something, when they have higher voltage hooked up, um, the car is not going to fly in reverse. And the fourth option is just power on high pedal. We can enable that one. That's already set there. Go ahead and hit next. This setting here, the motor top speed, it usually comes preset at about 80%. If you're an outlaw racer, you obviously want to have that turned up. The load type, we played around with that some. Um, it seems to do best when we have it on the heavy load setting. This is key here though. A lot of guys hook up their controller and they think something's wrong because they only have 20 volts hooked up. But a lot of the times these things come preset at an under voltage is say at 30 volt and you're having 20 volt hooked up, the controller's not detecting that, so it's not gonna turn on. But depending on what battery set you're running, um, you can play with that here. There's an under voltage and an over voltage. And then there's also a throttle up down rate. It usually comes preset at three. But if your kid's just getting started and just just learning the basics. It's pretty nice because you can turn it down um, and let them slowly adjust to the speed or you can turn it up and you know give them all the power. But that's it. Um, once you hit the last next button, you're just gonna hit finished. Configuration is complete. Now you can close out. Now unplug your cable from your computer. Cycle the ignition on off. It rewrites it to the controller. And you are ready to rip. Stay tuned for more awesome content. Dropping soon.